BBC Formula One sports broadcaster Jenny Gao revealing in posts on social media that she suffered a stroke a couple of weeks ago. And she wanted to break her silence because it had been some time since people had heard from her. What is all the details with it? Is there a cause? Well, we'll talk about it here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And I remind you guys, help me out here with my goal for the month of January, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We did not hit our goal for December, so we're really hoping with your help we can make it happen here in January. We got two signups so far, looking for three more. Also, when you sign up, you're going to be alerted for all my content. This is very important because if the only way you watch my videos are through the YT alerts, trust me, you're missing a ton of content. They're not going to let you know every time I post new videos. Also there, leave your comments on these videos completely censorship free. You don't have to worry about YT blocking or removing what you're saying. It's happening more and more. Go there. We can have a nice free flowing discussion on these topics with no interference, no nonsense, no trolls. You guys can send me direct messages as well. So check out the platform patreon.com slash conservative truth big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so thank you as well your generosity is greatly appreciated so jenny gao who is a 45 year old broadcaster for formula one racing she put out a post on social media on friday january 13th and she let everybody know that you know i haven't been around for a while she says but i I felt I needed to be honest with everybody and let you know that about two weeks ago, I suffered a very severe stroke. And I have been dealing with this now for quite some time. She thanked, you know, the whole entire staff at the hospital that she's currently at right now in London for everything that they're doing to try and help her through this. Now, she has admitted um, and, and this statement from that she put out, which I will put for you down below in the description, that her speech has been severely impacted by the stroke. And she even said that she was having difficulty typing, you know, the post out and that her husband was helping her do that. But she wanted to, you know, communicate with everybody. She said, I want to get back to work as soon as possible, but I'm being told this is going to be a long road ahead. So obviously issues here with the speech, motor issues as well. And again, this wasn't just a small stroke. She said this was a pretty severe stroke that she suffered here. And who knows, you know, when she's going to be back. Now, she's had tributes coming in from you know, everybody with Formula One racing and have talked about how great that she's been for them. You know, Jenny even goes back and she worked for uh, radio stations there across England uh, before making her way up here um, to do broadcasting for Formula One. But of course, the elephant in the room right everybody wants to know could this have had anything to do with that little pinchy well let's go back in time to april of 2021 because jenny gal herself had put a tweet out back then that she had gotten extremely sick at the time because she had just taken her doses of the uh AstraZeneca, pinchy, and uh, was complaining about numbness, being extremely cold. But she said in the tweet, which I'll include that for you too in the description, that anybody who took this was it was extremely normal to be uh, going through what it was that she was experiencing. Uh, yeah, co completely normal, right? Many others from the very beginning, if you remember, when they took that specific pinchy they also had experienced similar sy uh, symptoms here that jenny did you know that that was of course right out of the gate one individual that comes to my mind that is now a, a huge uh, uh spokesperson for speaking out against the pinchy was eric clapton and some of you may have heard that story that you know he admitted this that he was he took this very early on it was the same one that jenny took that you know he was he bought into all the, you know, it's going to keep you safe, right? And all that. He bought into all of that. He took it and it got so bad to the point where he couldn't play his guitar anymore. He was, you know, he couldn't go out and perform at shows that he had scheduled. 
he talked about the same thing that Jenny experienced, how he was freezing. I mean, he thought that that was it for him. He thought he was going down for good. Thankfully, Clapton was, you know, able to recover. You know, I mean, even for a time, he was, his body was paralyzed. I and mean, it was terrible what that guy went through. I don't know if he suffered a stroke. I don't think he suffered a stroke. I mean, I think he's doing good now. He's going back out there again. He's able to play again. Thank God. Um, but <laughs> someone who, who called it out, I, Jenny is not saying here, Jenny Gal, that, you know, the stroke that she got here was from the pinchy. Just that she has, you know, she's going through this and it's going to be some time before she gets back. So, you know, we continue to see this trend happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when is it going to come to an end? Will it come to an end? You know, only God truly knows for sure. Um, but look, we're living in the last days. I've said this, you know, day in and day out. Christ is coming back soon. The evil that's out there in the world is going to continue. But let me end this video here on hope because that's something that I do on all my videos is that I offer the hope of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He is coming soon. Now, if you're someone out there that's watching, maybe you come across this channel for the first time, you've never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then go back to your old ways, but to turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord though and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. Help us with our goal for the month of January, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we got two so far, looking for three more. It is a great blessing if you can help out with that. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.